Corey showed some real speed out there on the field. Is that a trait that you feel like you bring to the position that's kind of unique for tight end? Yeah, I mean, it just depends on the play, depending on the route. You know, just coming off the ball, using my speed, I mean, it's an advantage, I would say. But, uh, yeah, just being able to do that, I mean, everybody loves to be fast on the field, and that's just how you make plays on the field. So, yeah, it's definitely. Coach said you put on some, some solid weight since you got here. Yes, um, how much do you feel like you've gained so far, do you know? I put on about 15, 20 pounds. Because when I got here in June, I was about 200. And I'm all the way up to 220 now. So, yeah, I'm feeling a lot heavier back to my football weight. I, mean, I didn't play spring ball, so that might have played a part in me losing the weight. But, I mean, when I got here, it was straight grind. And I was just focused and just ready for the season and waiting for camp to come. And, yeah, I'm excited. That quick weight gain obviously didn't hamper your speed, which is a good thing. Yes, sir. What would you like to play at, ideally? Around 220, 225. That's the ideal weight, so I can still be, you know, in the slot if I have to, whatever the coaches need me. I will be able to hold blocks, just being able to do whatever the coach asks. I think 220, 225 is the best best weight up to be at. With your your uh, size and skill set, it looks like you can present some real uh, mismatches against yes, some of certain defenses. Is that what they're looking for? Looking at how guys are lining up, how to use you? Yes, sir. I mean, well, coaches they're going to do their job. I mean, I know the coaches are always going to, you know, that's their job, just to be able to find ways to use guys. And I mean, long as I'm just in the right spot doing my job, I mean, yeah, I just leave it up to the coaches. So I mean, I'm gonna go out there and play hard, give them my all. So whoever's out there, whether it's tight end, receiver, I and mean, we all just do our job. I mean. Will all be great. So, yeah. You have a different frame and skill set from Jack. What do you see out of him? Yeah, I mean, I learned a lot from him, especially being out of football so long. I'm picking back all those little things and just watching him play. He's a really experienced, experienced player as well. So, I mean, yeah, we complement each other. I mean, even the other guys in the room, they're pretty good. But I mean, Jack, he's a real solid guy. He's a good player. He's helping me learn the offense and take that next step and just being a cow bear for sure. What's kept you at tight end? I'm sure there's been coaches that maybe say, hey, let's go play receiver. What's kept you at tight end? Well, I mean, I have a will to come off the ball and block hard. I mean, I feel like I have a good thud at the initial point of contact. I have to work on the back end of the blocks, but I mean, I've never been shy away from blocks. And I mean, running, running routes has always been, I played receiver all my life. So, I mean, just, I think if I can, since I can do both, I mean, it's just the best position to be at most that, yeah. There's been a lot of talk about the transfers and virtual options talking about it with some of your teammates here. I mean, you're not, yes, I mean, not inexperienced. There's been guys who have you know, played a lot of games, yourself included. I mean, uh, how do you feel like that's going to help you in, in that experience of and it's going to help you as you get out here? Yes, sir. Well, I mean, it's definitely a different kind of football being in the ACC now. But, I mean, it's all football at the end of the day. I mean, it's physical, fast. I mean, it's definitely just learning the offense. That's the biggest thing. I mean, I don't think it really makes a difference whether it's a different conference or not because, I mean, and then you're going out there, you're playing, giving you all. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm just excited to play football, honestly. Is it kind of funny to wrap your head around the fact that you're going from Maryland to California and, and then you're going to be playing teams from your area back <laughs> east? Yeah, I mean, time? I think about it all the time. I mean, it's just a blessing to be here, I think. I mean, it's definitely, I was ready to take that next step in life and just branching off, and I'm at the perfect place. I couldn't be a better place than California, so, yeah, I'm excited. How has your transfer here helped your growth as an individual, as a person? Well, I mean, this is like my first time being away from home, so just taking that next step, especially when I get to the next level, I know you never know where you'll end up, so it's definitely a big challenge, but a great challenge, and, and I've accepted it. I like the fact that I'm out here and just learning a different type of offense, West Coast, Versus East Coast, I mean, it's just a, a different vibe, but I like it though. So, how do you yeah, like excited. working with Coach Seth Sapel and what's your relationship like with him? Well, he he's a really cool guy, really nice guy. We're really close. I mean, he just graduated from here not too long ago. He really knows football, really knows the offense, so he knows he understands his players and what they what it's like being in camp, what it's like playing football. So, it's a guy you can really trust when you can look at him from that standpoint. We'll push you to, to make that decision to enter the portal and you know make this your home. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, Maryland, I feel like it was, you know, it was, I had a good run, but I just was ready to branch off and just, I knew that, I don't know, I wouldn't say I got was getting bored, but it was like I was ready for a new start so I could still be driven because I still wanted to have that drive. And when you go somewhere new, it just gives you a different mindset because it's like now, nah, okay, like I got something to prove. But when you're like in the same spot, I feel like it'll, it can mess with your mental, I think so. So coming out here was to strengthen my mental, get all those little things that you miss out and just growing as a person, I believe, so. What about the pitch from Cal made sense for you? Made it, made it feel like the right fit? 
definitely the, the offense, the coaches, uh, the players. I mean, it's, they have a great offensive set, like the way they have used guys. So, I mean, Coach Blush is a type, very talented OC, Coach Wilcox, Coach Fell. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, being able to do this in my last year with those group of guys, I mean, I couldn't be a better place, to be honest. Seems like it's been a little bit chippy the last couple of days of practice. Is, is that good, bad? Is it different from Maryland? Or? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say different because, I mean, football, is, that's just that's how it is. I mean, it's emotional. So, I mean, I don't get mad at guys for that. I get it. You know, sometimes it can be a little avoided. Sometimes it's a little too emotional. But, I mean, football, that's what's going to happen. I mean, people play hard. You know, sometimes hands get in your face. People just, you know, it's a violent game. So, you know, but it doesn't take away from the team, I think. I think that's just a part of the game. and. Everybody, we're still brothers, we're still gonna grow from that, so definitely. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.